In this video, we're going to see how we can do a code review in GitHub with Android Studio, and we're going to leverage some of GitHub's branching capabilities to do so. So first, we have a GitHub project. We want to make sure that whoever is code reviewing us is a member of this project. So I go to Settings, Collaborators, and then I can search by something like uh, in this case, I'm searching for my user ID, which is silly because I'm already in this project. But nonetheless, we want to search for any collaborators and choose Add Collaborator. After that, let's go back to code. And we'll see the clone URL here, copy to clipboard. So I choose that. Now I go to Android Studio, and I'm going to say Import Project. And Import, uh, sorry, I'm going to say uh, New uh, Project from Version Control, GitHub. And now in GitHub, I will paste this URL, OK? Uh, and I'm going to choose Clone. And then I'm going to choose to open this in a new window. OK, and we'll give this just a moment to come up and compile. Now, uh, the important part is that we want to use GitHub's branching capability. A good code review is going to uh, not just suggest changes, but show how they can be done. So once the project loads, I'm going to click down here, this little box here that's kind of hard to see, this shows us our branches. So I can choose new branch, and then I might call this Jones BR code review, like so. And I'm gonna choose okay. Okay, so a branch is a separate lane of work, uh, something that is off of the main branch, but the nice thing is we can compare it to the main branch uh, we can also do a pull request where we merge the main branch with our branch that we've just created here. So let me run in and find something I can code review on. This isn't a very uh, verbose project, but surely I can find something. Okay, here's a good example. I'm lacking Javadoc. So one option would be to say, you lack Javadoc, add the Javadoc. The other option would be to put the Javadoc in as part of the code review. So I will say this activity collects GPS information for plants and associates that information with the plant or something of that nature. You know, we just want to do something simple here. Uh, okay, I could probably find a few more things, maybe my stub here. Uh, you know, I could probably uh, make some constants out of this or put some comments, uh, enhance the comments on the interface or something like that. In any case, what I'm going to do now is right-click on the project and choose Commit Directory. And for the commit message, I'm simply going to say uh, Code Review by Brandon Jones. And now under Commit, I'm going to choose Commit and Push. Now, make sure before we do this, make sure that we are in the Code Review branch. We do not want to push our Code Review comments our code review changes directly to the main branch uh, because we want the author to have an opportunity to review the comments that we've made or the changes that we've made and then let the author make the call on whether or not to merge. So I confirm up here, Jones BR code review, that is my branch, Jones BR code review again. Now before I push, let me just confirm that right now we only have one branch on GitHub uh, and that is the master. Uh, when I push this, we're going to end up with a second branch. So I push, give this a moment to push. And, and again, a code review would typically be more verbose than this. We would probably run the app, uh, get some ideas for the app. Now I come back and let's take a look at GitHub and suddenly take a look. Your recently pushed branches, Jones BR code review. You can also see in GitHub, we now have the Jones BR code review branch. And one thing that's important to point out is if I navigate down to the source code in the main branch, you will not yet see my changes. So I go to GPS a plant, and you see this does not have comments in the master branch. But if I switch to code review branch, you will see the changes. And that's where branches are really handy. So let's run back out to my application and take a look. It has an idea what we want to do. It's, gonna, it's saying, hey, do you want to compare this and do a pull request? And here is where the code review can get even more interesting. Because when I compare and do a pull request, it's going to say, okay, here are the files that were changed. 
And am I able to merge this automatically? If GitHub is able to merge this automatically, then there's no intervention from us. If we like the changes, then we say, yeah, that's good. Go ahead and merge it. And then we're back to one master branch and we've merged in these changes from this code review. So I can leave a comment here, something like uh, pull request for code review. And we're not actually merging it just yet. We're simply creating a pull request. So create the pull request. Now, if that doesn't merge it, what does it do? It takes us to this screen where we have an opportunity to have a discussion. So I'm gonna click on code review by Brandon Jones and take a look. This is showing us the difference between our two branches, the master branch and the code review branch that I've just created. Now here's where the real value of a pull request comes in. You see, as I mouse over these lines, a little blue and white plus comes up and it lets me add comments. So let's say that I'm the original author, not the code reviewer. I might put a comment here that says, thanks. I like the idea of Javadoc. I should also add the at author tag. Uh, or something like that, something to that effect. And then I place a comment. Now we can have a dialogue back and forth and we can talk about the virtues of the code review or the virtues of not merging the code review. And when we're happy with this, we'll go back to our uh, we'll go back to our pull request. And now if we do want to merge it, we can click on merge, confirm merge. And now we're taking those two different branches, the master branch and the code review branch, we're merging them back into one making them one product. So this video shows how we can take advantage of a lot of the neat features of GitHub to help us with a real code review that's helpful beyond just a simple write-up that actually shows how we could change things. Code reviews are great for learning from each other where we're gonna learn the most. It's great for making sure we've handled our exceptions properly, uh, making sure we're using correct conventions and many other things. If you search my channel, you'll see several other videos that discuss both code reviews and GitHub. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope to see you again. Thank you.